in this video, I'm going to show you how to schedule a meeting using Google Meet for the future. Let's go. All right. So as business owners, marketers, entrepreneurs, we may need to meet with people for various reasons, whether it be potential employees, potential customers, potential business partners, you name it. We may need to meet with people and we want to meet with them online. So to do this, we're going to use Google Meet, right? And Google Meet is almost like Zoom. If you're familiar with Zoom, it's just an online platform that allows you to, you know, have group calls, um, multiple persons joining in, screen sharing, and so on and so forth. Very good thing. I also use it to teach my graphic design class. I know that's for a different conversation. So to do this, you will go to this website, meet.google.com, right? So once you're there, you'll see this nice button here that says new meeting, right? So we click it and you may be tempted to click create a meeting for later. Very useful. But the one that we want to use is schedule a Google calendar, right? And this gives us much more features and functionalities that may be useful when it comes on to meetings. And one of them being reminders and also another one being um, allowing your participants to add it to their calendars. In addition to you adding it to your own calendar, they, they're adding it to their calendar, almost like adding it to their to-do list. And this is very, very useful when it comes on to meeting and, and, and increase the chance of showing up, right? So we're going to hit schedule a Google Meet, right? And this brings us to our settings here for the meeting, right? So this is where we, we're putting in all the details for a meeting. So the first thing that we want to do is, of course, give our meeting a title. So let's say this was a job interview for a marketing strategist um, position, right? So we could give it that title, job interview for marketing strategist. We left off the E, stra strategist right so job interview for marketing strategist the next thing that we would want to do is of course choose the date of the interview when we want to have this meeting so right now it's on may 5th because today is may 5th but we can click this and a calendar will pop out and we can choose a date so let's say we wanted to meet with a person say next week tuesday on may 13th right so we could click that and then the next thing of course we want to choose will be the time so we can click this and then we can say, all right, we want to do the interview around 9.30. So we just simply scroll here, 9.30 a.m., right? And then two, and then it, in this case, it's giving us an automatic thing of, you know, one hour. So 10, 9.30 to 10 a.m., 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. So we could click this and change it if we want. So as you can see, this is on one hour we could change it to 30 minutes and two hours and much more options right so this is pretty much just the meeting or the estimated meeting length right or the time that you're blocking out for the meeting right so we'll leave it on 10 30 which is an hour so the other thing that i like about this is that we could actually set it to repeat right so right now it, uh, it is on does not repeat so this is assuming that this will be a one-off meeting you know we won't be meeting on a regular basis this is just a one-time meeting but if we wanted we could click this and we could choose for example every week so for example in my case i teach a graphic design class right and i use google meet for my classes and we meet every wednesday so what i would do and what i have done i've created a meeting that um is set to wednesdays 6 30 um p.m because that's the time of the class and i want this to repeat every wednesday at 6 30 p.m right and this is where we would actually set that up. So if we wanted that kind of stuff, weekly on Tuesday, monthly on the second Wednesday, Tuesday. And then, of course, we have custom where we could input exactly when we want this to be repeated. Right. So pretty useful. What you'll also see is that it will automatically create a Google, a new Google Meet link. Right. So this is what they would click to actually go to the meeting. We could actually copy this link. We could also click this to copy it. But once we begin to add participant, which is something that we're going to get to, then they won't need you won't need to copy this because it will be automatically emailed to them once we add them in. Right. So we could also choose a, a meeting location. So let's say we wanted to do a physical meeting, then 
we could actually click this and it will bring up the map and, and we can actually input our actual physical location. But in our case, this will be an online meeting, right? You know, this is a job interview. This will be an online job interview, right? So we'll leave this blank. The thing that I love about using the Google Meet calendar versus, you know, the other two options that we saw before getting here um, is the whole idea of notifications, right? So we could set this to notify our participants and ourselves about the upcoming meeting that we have. So this right now has a default one that reminds us, you know, gives us a notification 30 minutes before the meeting. But we could actually go ahead and add more. So we could add notification, right? And we could say notify us even days. We could say one day before the meeting, right? And this is in the form of notifications, but we have options there. We could have it note as a notification and we could also have it as an email, all right? So we could choose to replay, um, swap these out as emails or we could keep these as normal notifications and add additional notification types. And instead of notifications, this time we change it to emails. So what will happen here? An email will be sent from Google to us and the participants reminding us of the upcoming meeting. And that is very, very useful, especially when you want to increase the show up rate for a meeting. So for example, as a marketing strategist, I'm a marketing strategist that offers marketing services to clients, right? And when we're, whenever we're onboarding persons, we would want to meet with them so that we can discuss their business, um, what their marketing goals are, and of course the strategies that we'd want to implement for them so that we can, you know, we can deploy that and, and move forward. So whenever we want to increase the show up rate, then this, something like this comes in very useful. So it sends them an email reminding them maybe um, an hour, a day before, a few hours before, a few minutes before, and then it increases the chance of them showing up. And with each of those notifications, especially the email ones, um, the link, the Google Meet link will be there. So they could just simply click it at the appointed time. So this part is what I absolutely love about this type of thing, right? Also, we could scroll down. If we scroll down, we'll see a description. And here we could actually input some information about the meeting. So in this case, we could say discuss role um, compensation. You know, everything that goes into a normal job interview, we could just enter all the details right here. And, you know, that's, of course, left to you and what you want to put there, right? And then, of course, a meeting would not be a meeting without guests. So this is where you would actually choose this. And then you can type in the names or the email addresses um, of people that you actually want to meet up with, right? So we could, and then we could simply send them an email. So we could say, a marketing strategist or maybe seen or still his greetings right so we could choose an email and then we'll simply send it to our participants our guests and we could add multiple participants i think under google's free uh, meeting you can add up to 100 participants which is pretty sufficient for most meeting situations right so once we've added the participants right it's just a matter of hitting save and when we hit save we will get a prompt to actually send the participants or the guests a notification we could choose to not send it to them right or we send it to them and once we hit send they will get a notification that's saying hey so and so has invited you to a meeting and the date of the meeting is this. This is the link. Click it and and they will begin to and they can also accept it. So when when they get it, they, they, you'll see something to accept that you'll be going to the meeting. And once they accept it, it will um, prompt us here that so and so has accepted our invitation to the meeting and they'll begin to get the notifications. Right. So this is pretty powerful, pretty useful, and you can use it in various situations so that you can build connections with people and, of course, move forward with your endeavors. So if you found this video to be helpful, please drop a comment below. Let me know what you liked about it. And of course, please like the video 
and subscribe to the channel we share everything about marketing strategies design creative stuff tech everything related to the creative professional and entrepreneur until next time peace out take care